Hey guys, it's Jill. Hope you're all having an awesome day. Today, we are going to be doing a very informational video. I thought about this idea when I started bringing my friends in to come model the to help model the clothes for me so you guys can see what the clothes look like on different body shapes. And I got to thinking, I was like, Crystal is a pear shape. So I was like, I have my pear shape, now I need to get an apple shape. And I got my apple shape. And I was wanting them to talk about the outfits and how they fit and just kind of learn more about dressing the different body types and the complications that we find in dressing for our shape. I had no idea the complications because Crystal and I have big hips, big thighs. We kind of get, you know, certain, certain things are like the same for us. But I had no idea a lot of the things that Karen's going to share with you guys. So I hope that you really, truly enjoy this video. Everything is across the board a 3X on all of us. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And I'm going to step back and I'm going to talk about this on moi. This dress on me, I'm obsessed. You're going to hear what Karen and Crystal have to say about this dress in a minute. But, oh. Uh, girly, feminine, ruffles, pleating, there's a lining underneath. This actually fits me to a T. I mean, there is not a single alteration with the exception of the length that I might, the length I might kind of do something about. But for the most part, other than that, there is not a single alteration that needs to be done on this dress on me. It fits me perfect right here in the arms, fits me perfect on the shoulder, fits me perfect in the bust, fits me perfect down here, like it is just me perfect, like literally like this dress was made for me. So I'm going to go ahead and let the apple shape, let our apple shape Karen tell you all about what she feels about this dress on an apple shape. So take it away Karen. I like this one, it does a lot better job of like camouflage in my trouble area, which is like so the belly, <laughs> but I don't think it's. I don't know, I guess like if you don't mind it being low cut, you could be bustier, but um, I don't know. I think like I would put something here. <laughs> yeah. Um, like I'm just not, I don't think I'm confident enough to wear it like this low cut yeah. on me, but it's so pretty. Like you just feel, so, like you just feel like sucks. pretty in this. Yeah. It's so girly. It's so like roughly and yeah. But I like, like I said, I like how flowy it is and it helps to camouflage this one. Mm -hmm. I wonder if maybe I would even need to go up a size, if that would help like in the bust area. I don't know. Okay, now that you've heard from Karen, let's go to Crystal and she can tell you how she feels about this dress. So, take it away Crystal. Okay, so this, I, I don't know, I mean, I just, I would look for something like this in this size and everything but if you are smaller on top this does cut pretty low so you kind of have to just try and see but for the hips the pleats are really are really flattering yeah the booty is popping girl the booty is popping <laughs> so yeah I would I would try on I would go to try on a dress like this just because of the flow and the pleats that part alone and it is lined and it's a wide V, so I, I already know that I'm going to be safe with something like that. And because it's wide, you can wear one of those things here. So a bralette. A you're bralette. Saying. You can wear a bralette, you know, right there if you know you're shy. I think body. I think jumpsuits look amazing on hourglass shapes, triangle shapes, pear shapes. They look beautiful. When you have curves, it's just like, yes, girl, give it to me. Looks so amazing. But I do have an issue with my hourglass slash triangle shape, whichever you want to consider me. While I, you know, have the curve in here, I still have the lower tummy and I still have a stomach. And with that being said, jumpsuits just aren't the absolute best when it comes to having a lower stomach because it does really accentuate. It's comfortable. It fits perfect everywhere. It brings my shoulders out. I really do have great shoulders, so it just makes my shoulders look amazing. I'm obsessed with this whole silhouette up here. The back, again, gorgeous with the little tie. It's just so 
beautiful, so beautiful, but the lower tummy. And then when I turn to the side, I'm not the biggest fan of how pantsuits look on me. And when you are short, well, then you have just way too much fabric on the bottom. But as far as this, how this fits me, I think it fits great. The only place that I really have issues with it is right here in my stomach and like the crotch area. That's really it. And I think it's just because it's kind of expanding to make room because it needs room for the stomach area. And I think that's why I'm having this issue right here. But other than that, I mean, I think it looks great. I think it looks great on the butt. I think it looks great in the back. Top up, if this were a top, it would be everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and let Karen tell you what she thinks of jumpsuits. Okay, what are we thinking about this one on Apple Shape? Okay, it's definitely not made for an Apple Shape, I don't feel, because it, like it's cutting up in yeah, yeah, places yeah. you don't want it to cut. <laughs> yeah. But um, it definitely does not camouflage this area. I feel like I'm harping on it, but like with an Apple, this is what you struggle with. But yeah. it definitely doesn't cover here, and then it's, I don't feel like it's for a full busted woman again though too because you yeah. have to have a good because I see it's like down here and it yeah. should be like I feel it like it should be up there, there yeah and I think that may be what's causing it because it's real tight around here yeah but if you don't mind a shirt or a turtleneck that touches up here you'll be totally fine but for me I sensory I can't stand anything that like touches right in here so that does bug me so if yeah. that is off-putting you probably would not like this one just because it's kind of here but um but it is pretty like I feel girly in it and the back is gorgeous like the back is my favorite part of this one I yeah, really love the back really the back pretty. is just sexy it makes you feel sexy so and again like the flowy legs I like the flowy legs I just you know if it had like some rouging or something for yeah here, like, okay, yeah this area but um, I feel like a lot of jumpsuits aren't made for my body shape, and I hate it because I would love to wear some. I really wish, you know, like if anybody's watching this, <laughs> right? <laughs> make us apples some, you know, jumpsuits. But yeah, I just wish it covered this more. And Crystal, take it away, girl. All right, so with this, let's just state the obvious. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's just. I'm pretty tall. Well, not I'm average. I'm five foot six, and this is the biggest that you could probably go with Fashion Nova. And they got this liner in here that is driving me crazy. I'm just gonna go ahead and mention that, which leads me to shapewear. If you were just to rip the liner out and put shapewear on, it would probably be more comfortable. When you're pear shape, shapewear could be kind of difficult. And the main reason is because you usually got to size up or you, otherwise you're going to feel like you're dying and you can't go to the bathroom. So it usually rides up shapewear does, whereas other people it might roll down, shapewear usually rides up and that's usually where you want it. You want it on your thighs. Um, I typically use a particular one that I just discovered and I'm loving it and it's from Torrid. Jill, let me get it down. <laughs> I always want to say that. But this right here. So cute. Is something else I look for when you are pear shaped. So I hate this when a, something is too tight or something is too loose. You get that little thing there. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I feel you on that one. Girl. And I do not. It's an automatic turn off for me. I don't like that. And yeah. people with thighs typically get that. So yeah. How do you feel about the fit up top? Do you feel so like the fit up top? It fits okay. This is high. So it does feel like it's um, going to choke you a little, but I like it. I like the look it's of it. It's really pretty in the back. And like so the, so the top back. actually feels really good. And you know, I'm wearing a bralette, so you could go low, but you would, if you're chesty, you would want some support there. Otherwise, it's not going to be flattering if you're if you're big chested. So I think the top fits fine, but the bottoms not so much. I think it will annoy you, or you might not find it comfortable with this liner inside it's riding up it's odd all the you know this is supposed to be like a summery thing but it's hot pencil skirts pencil skirts are perfection and i honestly thought they were universal but karen's about to tell you that they're not and i was surprised so again you're going to be super educated but on my body type 
they are just perfection. Now, if you didn't want to have this tucked in, this is just a tank top that I got from Walmart. And you know, it's too much clinging to your stomach, then you can totally just untuck it. You don't have to have it tucked in and you can kind of wear it like this, or you can wear like a, you know, pretty like floral, like kind of flowing, maybe a peplum. That would look so good. Or you can wear like a black peplum. You could do so many things with a skirt like this. Like seriously, server, so versatile. And on my shape, they just look so amazing. It's stretchy. It's great quality. It's thick. I just, I love it. I always love the way that pencil skirts look on my butt. I think that they're very, very, very figure flattering. My butt, my hips, like everything. It's just, I just think that pencil skirts look amazing. Yeah, that's that. And let's go ahead and see what Karen has to say. All right, what are we thinking about the skirt? Okay, the skirt, <laughs> it depends on how you're gonna wear it. You want me to show them? Sure. Okay. So like, it looks good with the shirt pulled down and camouflaged and the jacket, but then you do this, <laughs> and like a pencil skirt is not my best friend. <laughs> so I I thought pencil skirts were universal, but um, they're not. No, okay. Like, look at this, like you know, like the way it yeah. just accentuates oh. every bad flaw right here, and like, does it stick out? Like I can't see. So yeah, usually okay. like shows everything even on the sides so yeah if you can camouflage the top they're cute but if you don't want to have to camouflage this area i wouldn't then like yeah this is another thing we struggle with you see like the cute outfits where like girls wear jeans and they tuck in the front of their shirt mm -hmm. and the back hangs down it, it looks hideous it, as an apple shape i can't like it just isn't flattering at all. It doesn't look so. Cute. So for you, you feel like you do best with like mostly everything flowy, or can flowy. you do things that are like a little more form fitting? Maybe I more form fitting can. on the bottom. The the shapes that tend to do better on me is either um, rouging around mm -hmm. here, which is like gathers around yeah, here, yeah. and especially rouging that goes to one side. It mm -hmm. helps to camouflage um, that, and then. You, I can wear form-fitting stuff, but things that flatter my shape are things that maybe fit tighter through the bust and like a fit and flare. So they flare right here because that gives me the illusion, more of an illusion of a waistline. Okay. Um, sometimes I can get away with unpair waist, mm -hmm. unpair waist. That's what I was about to ask you. Yeah, but the biggest thing is it's very easy for me to look pregnant. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. For me, out. that's what I always say at empire yeah. waist. My I look pregnant. Yeah, that and then like if I if I wear a bra that has enough support for my boobs, then like my my chest is smaller than this. Mm. So like yeah, it's really easy for this to yeah to like stick out further. Out. Yeah, yeah, and since my upper belly, what I particularly struggle with is my upper belly is so much bigger than my lower belly. So like even when I was nine months pregnant, my upper belly stuck out further than my lower belly. I didn't have like the nice big round even belly. So yeah, um, buying jeans and shorts is really hard because if they fit in the waist, then they're baggy here. Mm -hmm. um, and if they fit here, then they're too tight to go over my belly. So I have to find fabrics in my pants a lot of times that are really stretchy like I will say this this skirt has a lot of stretch to it yeah um so if you when I looked at it I was like there's no way I'm gonna fit into this but there's so much stretch that it went on with no problem I didn't have any issues zipping it or anything like that so like stretchy fabrics even like stretchy denim tend to be like my friend because then it'll stretch to fit my belly but it's still tight enough to fit down here without being baggy and sagging down so and crystal so the skirt, if you are a, our, well, I should say hourglass, or definitely pear shape, this is probably something you would like. Pencil, pencil skirts are so flattering to somebody that is a pear shape. It gives you more of a silhouette, more of a, like a natural flow of the curve, and it flatters all the right curves if you, you know, are wanna, you know, you wanna show them curves. Um, this is a thicker material, so you could get away with shapewear, or you can say they're hell with shapewear. So it's up to you. Okay, so for me, what I look for in a jean is stretch. 
I have to have stretch. 1000% have to have stretch. I cannot do a stiff jean. Just never could, can't do it. These have stretch. However, they are 3X and they are cut way small. <laughs> you would need to size up on these like one to two sizes. On all of us, they were tight. On Karen, they were tight in the stomach. On Crystal, they were tight in the stomach and the legs, actually. Um, so yeah, these you definitely want to size up on. However, Fashion Nova only goes up to a 3X. So if you're like a 2X, 3X on the bottom, these probably are not going to fit you. Um, I do want to say what I look for when it comes to a jean is it doesn't have to be distressed, but I do like and prefer for them to be distressed. When I'm looking for a white jean, it's a must that they're distressed in some kind of way. Like, I just love a white distressed jean. They're so just, there's something about it that just looks so summery, so classy, so just everything. I love, love, love. Now, one thing I will say that I tend to have a problem with is because I'm 5'4", I tend to have my jeans either bunch up or they don't hit me right where they should at the ankle. And as you're going to see in Karen and Crystal, they hit them at the perfect, perfect spot. But yeah, I love these jeans. I just wish they fit. I cannot button them or zip them at all. So <laughs> they're like just hanging right here. But other than that, they are perfect. They have pockets, which again, I love. I love when stretchy jeans have pockets because a lot of companies are getting away from adding pockets in stretchy jeans. And I think that's just a big no-no. Why are they doing that? And of course, they have the pockets in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and let Karen tell you what she thinks of these jeans and what she looks for as an apple shape. These are like super comfortable. My, they feel like leggings on. Um, I did notice like I usually am smaller on, like wear a smaller pant than I do a shirt, which is weird because of how I'm shaped. But I'm like, if I wear a 3X on the top, I usually wear a 2X on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So they are, they're snug to the point that I was kind of afraid I might rip the zipper, but they're oddly comfortable. Like they don't hmm. feel tight. They feel like putting on a pair of leggings that are a little bit snug. Yeah. So yeah, and this it's like it's completely contradictory that they're tight, but they're comfortable. Yeah. So I know that doesn't make any sense. But well, they look like, amazing. Like oh, literally so amazing on your legs. Like Love for these. real. They're like perfect length. I feel like a rock star. <laughs> yeah, they totally look like that too. Like I love them. They're, yeah, I really, yeah. I was surprised with like all the cutouts. Another thing, you don't feel these. Mm -hmm. when, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't feel uncomfortable. Like yeah, this. it's not digging in or anything. It really does feel like leggings on. They're super comfortable. Even like bending my legs, they're comfortable. But like the same issue I have with every pair of jeans is yeah. like to get it to fit here. Then you know, like it's too. Well, these are just tight all over, <laughs> but um, like being an apple, like can you see the contour of what my stomach looks like in jeans? And it's so mm -hmm. frustrating because like where, like I said, the other girls can do like the tuck in up here and the long in the back. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. I can't do it because that just how my stomach is shaped. So yeah. But these are super cute. I would definitely wear them though, just with a different top. Well, yeah, with something flowy, that would mm -hmm. look so good. And you wouldn't definitely. even be able to tell, I don't think. Yeah. And let's hear from Crystal one last time. This took a minute. I'm gonna put it on. So if you're gonna go tight and you're in repair shape, be ready. I don't think laying on the bed would have done it. I don't, I don't know. But do not get this during the summertime. That, I don't see how that is. A, I don't see. It. But it's stretchy. This thing is stretchy. I, you know, wow. So it got some, you know, you know, it got some stretch, but you're walking all night. You're not sitting. You're walking. <laughs> just, just know that. So I honestly have no idea where my outro went. I'm thinking maybe I didn't film one. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was very informative, and if you guys want to see more like this, let me know. I just wanted to give you guys an insight and a view on what they thought about the clothes, how they fit on them, and what they particularly look like, what they particularly look for with their particular body type. So again, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to show Crystal 
and Karen. Massive love in the comment section and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Huge thank you to Karen and Crystal for again being in this video with me. I love you guys. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.